In this video, I'm going to show you how to make on-page anchor links. So any page on your website, you can have a specific link that will take your visitor exactly to where you want them to go on a particular page of your website. Let me demonstrate this for you. I've got a page here and you've seen this before and there's some menu navigation links. Someone clicks on one of these, like for example, the reviews link right here and it scrolls them down to a specific point on the website. That is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. You're going to be able to do it with custom code if that's what you want to do. Or if you have a page builder, I'm going to show you how to do it in those as well. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and click on that notification bell for notifications. All right, let's just jump on into this one right here. So first I will show you how to do it with page builder so I'm going to show you specifically Elementor and I'm going to show you specifically how to do it with Beaver Builder so here I am I've got this website it's built with Elementor it's very nice and when I scroll down there's a specific section right here called course packages and that is the section that I want to create this link for so what I'll do is click on edit with Elementor and it will jump me right on into Elementor so that we can go ahead ahead and get this started. Now this same concept of, of what I'm going to show you, you can carry into any page builder. So if you're using Divi, which I'm not going to show you in this video, or Visual Composer, or any of the various page builders, the same concept applies. So first I'm going to scroll down to the specific section that I want to link to, and that's this course packages. So what I'll do is I'm going to pull up the section settings and by just clicking right here and then I'm going to go into the advanced tab. Now with Beaver Builder, it's going to be the same. We're going to go into this advanced tab. So whatever page builder you're using, there's probably some form of an advanced tab. Now what we're looking for is this spot right here where it says CSS ID and this should be blank for you. And this is where you can put whatever you want. And this was going to be what's called the anchor link. And this will be used in the URL. So for for this, I will ch I'll just go ahead and enter course packages. Now here's the thing, you don't want to have spaces. So instead of a space, just go ahead and put a hyphen. Okay, so I entered course packages and also keep in mind what you put in here is going to be part of the visual link. So you don't want to put something in here that is embarrassing. So that's why I like to have something be friendly by saying course packages. That's very normal. Uh, so I've got that there and I'm going to go ahead and click on update. So this is the first step. Now what we can do next is we can just have a link that goes there or we're going to put a link in this video. We're going to put a link into to the menu that will take someone specifically here to course packages. So what I'm going to do is go back to the dashboard, click on appearance and go to menus because that's where all of our WordPress menus are. Here is my WordPress list of the uh, menus right here. And what we want to do is create what's called a custom link. And there's this option here for a custom link. Normally you would pull a link from posts or pull a link from pages and have it automatically pushed in there. We're not doing that here we're going to create a custom link. So the first thing we would do is give the link a name and this is just going to be the name as we see it in the menu. So why don't I go ahead and choose packages. Okay and so now what I'm going to do for the actual URL I'm going to go ahead and hit the pound sign and then enter in exactly what I put for that ID. There it is right there course packages. I'll click on add to menu. And then I'll just go ahead and drag that up to the top. Why not? I'll click on save menu. And then on the front end of this page right here, I'm going to go ahead and get out of Elementor. I'm going to go here and exit to dashboard. And now I will click through on the link to take a look at the website. And you can see we already have this packages menu link already added. So what happens is when I click on it, it's going to scroll me right down exactly to course packages. And this is regardless of what page you are on the website, that will take you straight to the course packages. So this is how you do it in Elementor. Now with Elementor, there's also a specific module that allows you to do this. It's called the menu anchor module. So let's go ahead and pull that up and then we'll jump into how to do this with Beaver Builder. So let me just go ahead and search for it. 
There it is, menu anchor. So what I could have done is scrolled down to the section like this, and I could have put the anchor right here at the top. And then right here, I would enter the ID. So this is just an alternative way to do it. I prefer the way that I showed you uh, the first way that I showed you. Okay, off to Beaver Builder. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to go into the Beaver Builder editor right here. And we're going to see that when I scroll down, I haven't used Beaver Builder on this site yet. When I scroll down, say to this section right here, I'm going to go to my row settings. I'm going to click on the wrench right here, click on advance. And when I scroll down, I'm going to see the same option underneath HTML element. It says dental services. I mean, it says ID and it just happens to have dental services filled out. And this is where you would enter the ID using Beaver Builder. Same thing. So the same concept would apply if you're using a different page builder. All you have to do is go to to the developer and say, hey, how do I enter a custom ID for a module, for a section, for a column, X, Y, Z? How do I do that? Okay, now on my website, I have a link. Let me pull it up right here. And uh, this is going to be the post on my website with all the instructions. So for if you want to, if you're not using a page builder and you just want to do it with straight up code, I have the instructions right here. So essentially it involves making a div and you will have the ID specified in the div like this. And you can just go ahead and have that link work just the same way using custom code this way. So that is all that I have for you in this video. Let me know what you think. If you have any further questions in the comment section down below, feel free to ask me there. Hey, if you found any value in this video, if you could give it a thumbs up and maybe share it on a Facebook group or share it with a friend, I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.